Um, what, what can you tell us about stroke in general before we now, you know, piece it apart? What, 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 what is stroke? What does it mean? Stroke is a vascular disorder of the brain, meaning is a disease of the blood vessels that supply the brain. And it's, or is a disorder of the brain resulting from uh, a dis uh, uh, abnormality of the blood vessels. And it's usually of sudden onset hmm. and it may or may not lead to death, but it usually leaves victims that are involved with disabilities and these disabilities we refer to as neurologic deficits. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, talk to us, Dr. Kanu, about the, the signs that somebody is uh, should look out for or the symptoms so what somebody should look out for uh, when you talk about stroke what are these signs and symptoms well stroke has numerous signs and symptoms as i said earlier it's a disorder of blood vessels mm. that supply the brain these blood vessels could get occluded or they could rupture Okay. Now, different parts of the human brain actually subserve different functions. So the signs of stroke will depend on the area of the brain that is affected. Okay. But commonly, patients or victims present with uh, weakness, hmm. facial weakness. They may present with facial weakness, hmm. weakness of the arm, speech difficulty, having difficulty expressing themselves or comprehending sentences. And these are the common futures. However, as I said, different parts of the brain subserve different functions. So a stroke patient may actually come down with just sudden blindness. Oh. A stroke patient may come down with sudden memory difficulties. A stroke patient may just suddenly lose consciousness. So a stroke patient may just suddenly start convulsing. So the signs are numerous, but the common ones known to most people mm. is the facial weakness where the mouth or the face is twisted to one side, speech difficulty, yeah. arm weakness, and weakness of the leg on one side of the body. Dr. Kano, th thank you for breaking that down, really. But is, is it possible that some of these signs and symptoms can manifest without it being stroke? Yes, thank you for this question. Actually, this brings us to what we call stroke mimics. Hmm. Things, other conditions that affect the brain that could mimic a stroke. As I said earlier, stroke is a vascular disorder. Mm -hmm. So there are other disorders that can look like a stroke, which are not stroke. Mm -hmm. For instance, somebody with a very low blood sugar can manifest that way, and it is not a stroke. Somebody with a brain tumor mm -hmm. can manifest that way, and it is not a stroke. Somebody with uh, a seizure disorder, what we uh, in the general uh, uh, palace we call uh, uh, people no more as epilepsy, hmm. can finish convulsing and suddenly discover one side of their body is not moving well. Hmm. That is not a stroke. We call that thoughts palsy. So there are several mimics of a stroke, but they, you don't call them a stroke. Hmm. They look like a stroke. Okay. In such instances, Further evaluation by interviewing the patient further, examining the patient, and conducting certain uh, investigations like neuroimaging will help us di uh, uh, ascertain the actual cause of such signs. Hmm. Uh, Dr. Kano, is there any connection between age and um, stroke? Any connection? Yes. Actually, advancing age or aging is a risk factor for stroke. Mm. It is one of the risk factors we term non-modifiable, meaning you cannot do anything about it. Mm. Somebody, as he grows, keeps aging, you can't reverse the age. So aging is a recognized risk factor for stroke. Mm. Mm. 
Indeed. How, how about sex, gender? Is there any connection? Yes, gender has connection with stroke in the sense that males are more affected than females when it comes to stroke. But this holds during the reproductive age. When co this comparison stands, when the woman is still in her, when she's uh, yet to attain men uh, menopause. Okay. But postmenopausally, this uh, difference doesn't really uh, exist. Mm. But before then, males are more affected. Indeed. Now, um, Dr. Khan, I, I want to also talk to you about um, whether we have classes of stroke or, 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 or not. Is, is that a thing? Mal stroke? Um, I don't know what, what the terms what the terms used for them. Okay. Do we have classes okay. of stroke? Yes, we have uh, types and subtypes okay. of stroke. Okay. Uh, there are two major types of stroke. And these two major types are, one, an ischemic stroke. An ischemic stroke simply means a situation where the blood vessel supplying a part of the brain gets blocked. So it's a blockage mm. that causes that form of stroke, ischemic mm. stroke. The second type is what we call a hemorrhagic stroke, or simply put, a bleed. In this situation, the blood vessel within the brain ruptures and blood leaks into the substance of the brain or the fluid surrounding the brain. Okay. So in this situation, we say it's hemorrhagic. But these two forms of stroke are actually subclassified further. But for the purpose of our discussion, I will want to stick to two forms, blockage and a rupture. Hmm. Blockage, ischemic stroke, a rupture known as hemorrhagic stroke. There are subtypes of ischemic stroke and there are also subtypes of hemorrhagic stroke. Hmm, indeed. Well, doctor, please break it down for us um, uh, to the basics so my listener can uh, properly understand. What exactly, okay. what exactly causes stroke? Okay. Stroke occurs when there is deprivation of a particular segment or part of the brain, deprivation of oxygen, deprivation of glucose. Mm. The brain as an organ doesn't have good storage of glycogen that needs to be broken down anytime it is starved. It doesn't have that reserve. So anytime there is a cut off of blood supply to any part of the brain, mm -hmm. it is starved of oxygen, it is starved of glucose. And the brain cells that we call neurons actually are very intolerant to this form of starvation. Mm. They can only survive it for a few seconds to minutes. Mm. After which, if supply is not restored, a stroke happens. Mm. 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 As we said, there are two forms. This could result either from a blockage or from a bleed. When it is a blockage causing it, we say is an ischemic stroke. Okay. When it is a bleed causing it, we say is a hemorrhagic stroke. Mm. However, it is important at this point to talk about what could lead or the factors that could lead to either a bleed or blockage. Right. It, what we term the risk factors of a stroke or the conditions that could cause a stroke. Actually, they are numerous. As I said earlier, they could be modifiable or non-modifiable. The non-modifiable ones are things you can't really do anything about. We mentioned earlier a advancing age, the gender of the individual, right. males being more susceptible, the, uh, the race of the individuals, blacks are actually at a greater risk of stroke than whites. And then certain genetic factors may also not be modifiable. For instance, a sickler is at risk of developing a stroke. An individual with sickle cell anemia is at, in, is at risk of developing a stroke. You may not be able to do anything about his genotype. Now, as I said, the modifiable ones are things you can adjust and things you can intervene. Right. And that is the area we emphasize as neurologists because you can do something about them, hmm. either through lifestyle modification or medications and the least 
is actually endless, ranging from things, uh, conditions like hypertension, high blood pressure, diabetes mellitus, individuals with elevated blood glucose, individuals that are smokers, smoking, heavy alcohol use, hmm. individuals that are obese, individuals that lead sedentary lifestyles, hmm. where somebody is mostly inactive. Hmm. You engage other people to do virtually everything for you. You don't engage in physical activities. Hmm. Such individuals are at risk of a stroke. As I said, the risk is endless. Hmm. Certain hmm. cardiac conditions can be associated with stroke, yeah. and certain infections even can be associated with stroke. <laughs>